Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, I got a great show tonight. You know, I, I've got some terrific people on. I, I've been been pretty excited about this. I'm bringing back uh, one of my buddies that actually got me rolling in this. And, um, you know, Keith Kissel, I tell everybody he's the one who made the phone call, but uh, Freddie Valente is the one that got me into all this electronics. Not that I'm good at it, you know. Um, I'd still have to take a back seat to Freddie all day long when it comes to this. But he is my buddy, and uh, he actually got me going on it. And then he went and moved to Florida, you know. Um, I still hold that against him. But, you know, I'm not going to go there tonight. I'm not going to go there tonight. Because I, you know, I, I love the guy. He's, uh, he's a great, great friend. So I am very, very happy to have Mr. Freddie Valenti on tonight, a.k.a. Freddie the Ref, a.k.a. Florida Freddie. You know, they're just, there's just tons of them Freddies out there, baby. It's it's uh, pretty cool. So I'm looking really, really specially forward tonight to having him on. And I'm going to bring him on in just a little bit. But also, I'm going to have uh, a couple of great guests on tonight, too. I'm going to have Mr. Robert Barnett on. Um, Robert, uh, you know, he hangs out here. Obviously, he's going to be moving pretty soon. So, you know, um, he's going to be leaving California. Uh, lucky. <laughs> But anyhow, you know, uh, Robert's going to tell us, you know, uh, about his time in paintball, too. Robert's played a lot of the fields around here, been in paintball for 20-some uh, years. So, you know, um, he doesn't look that old, but uh, by gosh, he said he is. So <laughs> we're going to take his word for it. So I'm really looking forward to talking to Robert tonight also. And then I'm going to have on, um, I hope I don't blow your name, uh, Mr. Edgar Mathis. Now, Edgar is uh, one of the guys that it has really a great organization called the Filipino Paintball Worldwide Organization. And um, we're going to have Edgar on. Edgar is going to tell us a little bit about it. But uh, next week, I am going to devote the entire show to the Filipino Paintball Worldwide Organization. So uh, you're going to want to be tuning in next week to watch Edgar and and Nick and a few other guys on. Hey, Jennifer Montressor, how are you doing this evening, dear? Uh, Keith Kissel. Keith, I already mentioned you. Go home. Go home, Keith. Right on, guys. Uh, and I'm also going to have James Clark on tonight. Um, James uh, owns a Wildcat Paintball Park, and he also will be talking paintball with us. So, you know, I'm going I'm to have to get to it here real quick. Um, you know, I, I just got off a trip in St. Louis uh, with just an absolutely terrific, terrific time. Um, that I had with, you know, Dave and Tony Ruddick and Chip and Diane Kurtz and Tom Gee and his fiance Elaine. And none other than Mr. Tim and Terry Schloss. You know, um, I consider them like family. They are the, you know, the word cool really doesn't even fit them. They're just absolutely terrific. I, I love them. And um, Tim is going to have, uh, he also is part of the WCPL and he's going to have his tournament. Uh, that's going to be happening, I believe, in October. His, his is going to be the last one. His is going to be the, the great event. And wait till you guys see his field. <sighs> it is so cool. I can't even begin to tell you. Absolutely very, very sharp. And Richard Wilcox watching us tonight, too. What's going on, buddy? So anyhow, um, real quick, let me get my shout-outs. You know, I'll get my shout-outs every week because these are the guys that actually – when I started in paintball years ago, these guys worked their butts off, spent a lot of money, a lot of time making paintball what it is today. And, and you know, I, I start with Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim owns Gateway Paintball in uh, St. Louis. And if you guys ever get a chance, man, get out there and check out that, that place. It has so many different variations, so many different things you can go play. It's unbelievable. You will absolutely love it. No doubt about it. So I start with him, and then I go to uh, Mr. Dan and John Colby, uh, Immortal Air right now. Used to be Air America back in the day, and uh, uh, they've been my sponsors for over 31 years. Absolutely terrific. And Mr. Bud Orr is watching. Uh, my brother, I love Bud Orr. Um, as a matter of fact, Bud Orr is the next name that I mentioned. You know, and Bud needs no introduction. He uh, needs nothing like that. You know, uh, when you say paintball, Bud Orr's name comes up immediately because Bud is paintball. That's all there is to it. And absolutely love the guy. He, he's terrific. Watches me every week. Uh, is working with me on the tournament for the WCPL up here. 
and like I say, I just can't say enough about him. I, I, he He's like family to me. He is one terrific person. And if you ever get a chance, uh, you go to one of our tournaments, WCPL, Bud will be at him. You know what? Do yourself a favor and go up and introduce yourself because you're going to meet one of the coolest guys you've ever met in your life. Just a terrific person. Then I have to mention Mr. Tom K, um, Airgun Designs. Uh, Tom was my sponsor for many, many years. Great, great person. Rainy and Juvie Boucher. Uh, they had paintball news back in the day, two times a month, two times a month. You could go out to your field, get this paper. It told you what just happened, what was coming up, where the fields were, what was new, what was old. And it, it was just absolutely terrific. A uh, uh, great, great field and a uh, great, great paper. I mean, it, you would absolutely love it. I wish they were still around, but uh, I have to mention them because they've done so much to build a sport to where it is today. Along with Randy Camilla, the editor for APG, Mr. Jerry Braun had paintball sports uh, back in the day, a terrific magazine, another one. And uh, he has a woods ball out there in New York uh, now. He, uh, you know, him and uh, Kevin Donaldson actually runs it, but uh, it's Jerry's event and uh, they do a terrific job. I, I can't even begin to tell you the fun that I had at woods ball this last year. And I am so, so looking forward to it next year. It is going to be so cool. And then I got to mention Mr. Ross Alexander, Line SI, actually my first marker sponsor. I still have my original Bushmaster that I played with down here. And uh, then I have to mention Mr. Jim Lively. There was two tournaments back in the day you wanted to go to. You wanted to go to Jim Lively's, the Masters, and Jerry Brown's World Cup. Just two terrific tournaments. Uh, absolutely great. And then last but not least, I have to mention, well, not exactly last, because I mentioned the two Gong brothers, uh, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. I mention them every week because uh, their father, Mark Gong, who played on my team uh, many years ago, and he's one of the OG Ironmen now, has worked so hard putting the kids' stuff together. And he has started uh, a wave uh, of kids getting into paintball. And, and everybody knows we need these kids in paintball, Okay. This is our future. This is, is what we're passing along to the sport of paintball. And some of these kids I met are absolutely terrific. I got to tell you, they, they absolutely are. I'm so proud to know them. But last but not least now, I have to mention Gino, Gino from Belkin Sports. Um, Gino is a terrific guy. I mention him every week because I, I am privileged to see what goes on behind the scenes in paintball. And he is an absolutely terrific person that works so hard for the sport. It, it's not even funny. He's just a, a great, great guy. Um, so real quick, I, I give my shout outs. And real quick, if you guys see my cool shirt I got on here, I got this from the Punishers um, in the UK. They sent it to me this week. Uh, terrific paintball team. Um, them and the Predators and Bart Stud Squad. And I'm wrecking through I, I, I could go on and on with, with uh, the teams over there that are so absolutely cool. And every time I've gone over there, have treated me so well. And I just absolutely love the UK, UK paintball players. They're just terrific. So let me bring on my uh, co-host here real quick before he falls asleep. I see him sitting over there. When he starts kicking back, I bring him on right away. Matt, see, I told you. What's going on, Billy? Oh, not a lot. How's it going? <laughs> Man, man we, got, we got like a thousand people here tonight. So, you know, I'm just, yeah. just trying to get through this. But, you know, I, I just had to mention, I, I keep mentioning the St. Louis trip because uh, it was just so cool, wasn't it? It's it's hard to get over after. <laughs> it, 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 it seems like it just goes by really fast. But then it's, for a month after, that's all you're thinking about, wishing, you know, wish we would have had more time. You know? Yeah. Well, you know what? I got to tell you something. I'm still full. I, I mean, I almost ate myself into a coma there, baby. <laughs> wow. That's, uh, that, yeah. I, I didn't go to the, the Italian restaurant you went to, but that steakhouse, oh. that, that was some, that's probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. It was just, it was outstanding. But baby, I wish, I wish you could have been at the Italian restaurant. Oh, oh. oh my God. It was so absolutely great. I just absolutely loved it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. anyhow, hey, Ryan Courtney's watching us every week. Ryan Courtney, man, what a terrific person. So you know what? We got a lot of people. How about we start slamming some of these people on here tonight? Yeah. Yep. Let Let's start with a guy that really got me rolling on this. Um, you know, I normally I don't like putting him on because he looks better than I do. Uh, 
Well, that's why you're on every week, Bill. <laughs> uh, yeah, got to do something, you know. I got to help you out. <laughs> I love you, brother. So everybody, please, I want you to welcome a guy that um, been in paintball a long time. Doesn't he's done an awful, awful lot for paintball, and she know man. Awful, He's done, he's done an awful lot for me. Well, I call him Florida Freddy, Freddy the Rep, but you know, Cheeto Man actually fits him, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah, either that or Orange Hands. It's got to be one or the other. Yeah, Orange Hands is not bad. So please, everybody, welcome Mr. Freddy, a.k.a. Freddy the Ref Valente. What's How up, you guys? doing, buddy? How's it going? <laughs> going good. You're looking great. Look at you. <laughs> Why are you looking up. younger? Well, you know, I try. <laughs> so so how you doing down there in florida i'm doing all right i gotta it, it's getting used to like the weather you know it's just crazy over here you know it's hot rain hot mornings hot nights it's just hot <laughs> but what's the weather like no <laughs> it's it's beautiful <laughs> Oh, I miss you, buddy. Miss oh, you man. Yeah, you, you know, I can still do this now from, from what you showed me. Yeah, that's I'm not what I heard. extremely limited. That's not what I heard. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> you know, it's funny. is I got hacked a few weeks ago, and everybody says it's probably Freddie that did it. <laughs> <laughs> see, the funny thing is, is you guys don't see his hands. So what, what he's actually doing is he's texting people. I'm, 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 I'm crashing again. I need help. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, I was screaming for you that night. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, remember, remember, we got, I got hacked too that that time. Where I, we had to use the phones instead of the cameras. I was just going to bring that up. Yeah, we we were set up at the studio. We had uh, the girl in there. Yeah. Um, yep. She came in, and we were all set. And they were working on PG&E down there, and we thought PG&E had shut it down because of the gas leak. Remember? Yeah. But you'd got hacked, huh? Yeah, we got. I got hacked. So that was Unreal. terrible. Got, it was like like two months. Yeah. So finally, oop, it worked again. So that was it, great. You, you know what was funny, Freddie, is when it happened to me, it it happened two or three minutes into the show. Bam. Really? Yeah. And it, it stopped, and my whole site went to French. Everything on my site, except you know, except my post, everything around it they had to do with facebook was in french i couldn't i i couldn't read nothing so i couldn't figure a damn thing out wow yep and then i'll tell you what's funny is the following week steve mcguire up in canada says well go ahead and run it through my site fred and just before i started the show with him mine came back on in english and and everything started working again but i didn't i still used his site because i was i was too afraid i didn't know what was going on oh wow that's, well, that's weird, good. huh? That is weird. Absolutely. Hey, nice shirt too, by the way. What? what why is it? Why? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I, hey, I, yeah, I up, like. Yeah. I like the way you stretch it out so you can read the whole thing. You know, I mean, it just get mine. It crumbles up. <laughs> so I see you're engaged, my buddy. Yes, I am. Yeah, I uh, I seen her pictures. Nice looking yeah. lady. Very, very nice looking lady. Uh, her name's Christine. Okay, you treating her okay? And, uh, we live together now, and uh, we, we're we're pretty happy together. Oh, very cool. I, I'm happy as hell for you. Yeah, we, so, we, we go down to Disney all the time. and i seen and, that. Yeah, all the time. We're like Disney fanatics, and we go there. We, we're still looking for New York Street. It's gone. I think I think that whole that whole video of you out there playing in in the I think that was all like CGI and one, yeah, one huge there. huge green screen man you should have seen the size exactly. of the green screen that. yeah it was cool they didn't have CGI back then oh, oh <laughs> you, drink your drink over there yeah. <laughs> you remember Bill don't you he's the one that sent you four thousand boxes yeah of, yeah you know, I know I'm still <laughs> eating them by the way that was how that oh was hell how did that I mean I don't know who did it yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we oh. go. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, that was a that was a great surprise. Coming coming home, and there's a big box in my living room. And I'm like, and it says Freddy Cheetah the ref. And he calls me up and he goes, I got a big box sitting here. And I go, Oh crap, man. I don't know if I'd open it. It might be a bomb. 
Yeah, it was a Cheeto <laughs> pop. Down first. <laughs> now you x rayed it. You've seen look, those Cheetos. Look, I have one bag of Cheetos while I'm, I'm on the on the on the, the show, and everything goes crazy. Well, yeah, I, bl- I, bl- you, you I blame you, name. Fred. You earned the name. You might have seen one bag, but I'm sure there was more. <laughs> see, God, Bill. See, we know, buddy. We know. <laughs> you, you can't ever try to fake us out on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'll bet there. I bet there was all kinds of you know because we heard you when you were moving around. You were crunching too, so I can't even think you were sitting on them too. Uh, you're getting you get better. better. Well, either that or crushed crush the underwear. But I bet more on the Cheetos. That was the leftovers that missed his mouth. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he was in, like a piranha with them things. Yeah. And, and, you know, you know, it was so cool, Bill, is he was so sophisticated doing it. You know, the yeah. finger was out. He put it in his mouth and munched a little. Pinky up. A little, yeah, the Why? pinky. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah you, 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 you always were a classy eater. Well, you know, classy guy. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you are. You know, I'll, I'll give you that, too. I'll give well, you that, yeah. Uh, I'll never forget when when Freddie moved, man. We went and packed all his stuff in this. Uh, oh my van. god! Yeah, that was. Uh, hey, do you remember? Do you remember when we used the crutches to to wedge the uh, the stuff up there? Yeah, when I when I finally got all those, the crutches were gone. Everything was forward. I was like, oh, oh man. I guess he hit a couple of potholes. Yeah, he had to hit some big potholes because we had that in there pretty good. Yeah. Let me yeah. let me tell everybody right now. Fred Schultz, the king of Tetris, okay? Because there's no way we could have got – all my stuff was, what, within five feet? Yeah, in five feet, absolutely right. But, you know, the reason I got good at it is because people for years have been telling me to pack it. So, you know, <laughs> you, you're, you're bound to get good at it. That, that's not what they meant? Oh, oh, my God. I'm feeling bad now. <laughs> oh Jesus! Ryan Courtney says, "Congratulations, Freddie." I just put that up there, but I, thank you. I, I, you. You look awful tired. I know you can't read well, anyhow. So, <laughs> <God damn. laughs> oh, I miss you. Hey, that's why we had the eighty-inch TV screen in front of us when we did the show in the apartment. That's yeah. why I could. It wasn't see because it. of you. It wasn't because you couldn't see. <laughs> I couldn't see. I, I had my my face to the phone like this. Yeah, I had to get the TV, man. I got a bigger one now. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. The older you get, the the bigger TV you want. Let's just go there. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Freddie, um, when when you played around here, do you you remember a, a couple of guys um, that kind of hung out at the fields? Uh, remember Rob Burnett? Barnett. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah, he's uh, and uh, and uh, oh, I hope I don't butcher Edgar's name, but Edgar Mattis. Yes. Mattis? You remember Edgar? Yes. Do you? You want to say hi to him? Hey. Hey. What's, what's up, up Edgar? What's going on? How's it going, man? I'm doing Long good. Time. And let's bring up Robert Burnett too. How you doing, Robert? Hey. Good. How are you, gentlemen, doing tonight? Gentlemen, you've been talking about Freddie. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I've been talking to Ed, and Edgar. Definitely not the two gentlemen Edgar, up there. Edgar and Bill, the only two gentlemen on here. Well, now, now Robert is. Me and Freddie. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> my, so, you ask my ex-wives, they definitely will not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie hangs his head. <laughs> That'll be the yeah, last thing they would I, yeah, say you know, my about me. Was pretty cool. Yeah, my ex-wife come running in the house. She goes, I won the lottery. I won the lottery. Pack your clothes. And I go, should I pack for warmer, cold weather? And she goes, I don't care. Just get the hell out. <laughs> you know, I'm like, what's going on with this? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, you know, you guys, all three of you guys played uh, the same fields all the time for uh, a lot of years. You played Capital Edge Paintball. And... Uh, mm-hmm. And the Fairfield Field, uh, you guys, yeah. yeah. So you guys must have ran across each other, maybe without knowing each other, but probably playing the same fields. Most probably, likely. Yeah. yeah, I played at Mare Island a lot back in the days. Yeah, I started that Mare Island thing, and then uh, Sinatra took it over. 
Yeah, that's where I held, uh, I believe it was the first NPPL event I held there. And uh, it, it was pretty cool. So I, everybody, if you don't know Edgar, um, Edgar has an organization. It's called the Filipino Paintball Worldwide. I'm, I'm going to call it an organization, Edgar, because that's what you guys are. And uh, next week, I, let me put this up here, Brian Courtney. Next week, I am going to have uh, the entire show is going to be with Edgar and three of his uh, other guys that really worked very, very hard at, at putting this organization together. So I'm going to devote the entire show next week. So I'm going to give you a quick promo right now on that. And I'm really looking forward to uh, having you on next week. Here's Rich Wilcox. You know him. Everybody yeah. knows old man Rick. Hello, Rick. <laughs> Where is he? Where are you? Things are moving too fast for me now here. Holy smokes. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Robert, tell us how you got started in paintball, buddy. Everybody that's on here, that's the first thing I hit him with. Tell us how you got started in paintball. I got started in paintball by uh, a friend of mine by the name of Clint Collins. I was working for uh, as an EMT for the local ambulance company here in town and he kept telling me about paintball. He'd be my partner. Tell me about paintball. Kept talking to me about it and say, hey, man, you should come and play. You should come play. I'm like, dude, I ain't got no time for that. That sounds crazy to me. And one time while we were on shift, um, we were only working half a day. So when we when we got off, he's like, dude, just ride out there with me and check it out. So I rode out. It was just like a just a feel that they had made, that they had got permission from one of the farmers that they knew. And uh, and so I watched them play in the whole nine yards, and it looked cool to me. And I was like, oh, that does kind of look interesting. And he kept saying, dude, you should come out and play. Just put some sweats on, you know, put a shirt on. I know you have a high tolerance for pain. Come out, check it out. <laughs> so I went out and played one time. That's all it took. The worst addiction in my entire damn life. <laughs> right. Hey, let me tell you, pal, you're not alone. No. I mean, am I right, Freddie? <laughs> no, you're not alone. <laughs> that has hit all of us, man. It's been, uh, and, and you know what? It's an addiction that, that I've grown not only to love, but to help build a sport of paintball over the years. I've worked my butt off doing it and, uh, Still am uh, along with these guys that that are on the screen right here. You'd be amazed how um, these guys have worked to spread the sport of paintball. Because you know, if we don't keep building it, it's just going to eventually die out. And that's one thing we definitely don't want. We but, want it to keep on rolling. To put it period. to you this way, okay, I have two storage units here in Florida. Okay, two of them. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played paintball in a while since I've been back to Florida. My marker is here at the apartment, not in storage. Okay, mm -hmm. I won't. It's too cold over there. No, no, no. It needs to be nice and warm. I tuck it in yes. every. Night. Yeah, my mine's <laughs> right over there. I mean, literally. <laughs> I mean, it's not as close as my gun is, but it's pretty close <laughs> to me. Okay, so um, I love it. you know, but. I, without a question, as soon as I, soon as I played it, I went home like a like a fifteen year old kid rambling to my wife. Oh my God, you gotta check this out! La 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 la, and it was just on from that time on. Yeah, we I all mean, know that feeling. Believe me, it, it, it uh... was it was it was it was just a takeover of something that I really enjoyed. And yeah, it was yeah, fun, and I met friends, and I saw kids playing, and you know, it's just it's, <clears throat> since we, since the nineties, it's been a part of my life. Well, you're going to meet another new guy right now because uh, I want to bring on Mr. James Clark. He uh, has a Wildcat Paintball Park, and I'm sure, seeing he's got a park that he knows about paintball. So please, everybody, welcome. What's going on, James? How are you doing this evening? Good, Fred. Thanks for having me on. Oh, my my pleasure. You know, um, tonight we're just uh, uh oh, what happened? Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're just uh, we're talking paintball. That's all there is to it. And uh, I, I absolutely love talking paintball, and I like the people that that work real hard at the sport. And uh, I, I like 
you know, bringing people together. So people, because, you know, like I say, if we all work separately, we can all do something good for people. But if we all work together, we can kick butt and really make the sport bigger. So I'm going to get back to Edgar in just a minute. But uh, I want you, James, I want you to tell us a little bit about your park, your paintball field, please. Sure. We opened uh, April 13th in 1996. So we just hit 25 years. It used to be me and my two brothers and nephew. Um, over the years, I bought them all out. My last, I bought my last partner out four years ago, uh, this February coming up. So it's just been me for the last four years. Uh, but <clears throat> just been growing and, you know, trying to expand our sport. Um, this recently, this last year, we added a Nerf gun field for the little kids with little tyke houses so we can start them below seven. We got all the gel blaster guns for the kids from seven to 10. There and then we go. do airsoft and paintballs for 10 and above. So, I mean, we're trying to get them at all ages, uh, get out there. We get a lot of birthday parties and their little brothers and sisters couldn't play. So we made something for them to play with too. Well, the gel blasters and the jelly ball, you know, that, <laughs> that just blew me away when that came out because, you know, Tank has the jelly ball and, and Gino uh, Belkin has the gel blasters. And I think it's such a great intro into the sport of paintball. Don't you? Oh yeah, I love yep. it. Um, like I said, we just we just got them this year, um, this summer. I, I, <laughs> George over at Balkan had been trying to talk me into it for a while. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. So I finally got four of them, played around the backyard with my my kids and my wife, and I'm like, okay, these are definitely pretty cool. So now we we run groups. Shoot, I bought them. Probably ran a group almost every weekend, every other weekend through the summer months and early early fall i think they'll slow down in the winter time obviously because it gets cold yeah. here but that's going to be a spring and summer type deal for those i think for the most part hey, have you ever met edgar or or rob i think i don't know about edgar uh, i know that you know you're talking about the filipino uh, organization we had a filipino fraternity from the u of i used to come down all the time uh, to uh, the park because we're about mm, 30 minutes or 45 minutes from the u of i down Interstate 55, so we're fairly close. But. Wow, that's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Edgar, uh, you know they're they're working really hard. They got a great organization going right now, and you know I'm all about building paintball, and you know uh, mm. the people that I put on, I, I think are, are great for paintball. I just uh, I kind of pick and choose who I get to put on here, and next week we're going to do uh, the whole hour is going to be with Edgar and uh, a lot of the people in the organization, the, the Filipino Paintball Worldwide Organization. So I think that's going to be a pretty cool show also. Well, if they're guys, you guys are in the St. Louis area, is that right? Or oh, Edgar and Robert? Um, no? No. I'm in California. No, no. The other guy okay. is in, in New York. And okay. the other one is at Florida. Gotcha. I know Bill's yeah. in the area. We're going to have our Santas and Elves game coming up this Saturday. Hopefully, you yeah. got somebody to cover your group so you can come out and play. So You know, at, at, actually, uh, I want you to um, – let me bring another guy in real quick. But uh, then, James, I want you to tell us a little bit about that uh, coming up this weekend, okay? Sure. But I, I, let, let me bring on this old guy. Um, he's the only guy that I know that's got a bear. He's a lucky, lucky man to have a bear. And uh, he's a, a great friend of mine. And, I, Edgar, I think you know this this guy also. Please, everybody, welcome. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Donaldson. What's going on, Kevin? What's happening? How are you guys? <laughs> oh, Doing good, buddy. <laughs> is, it cold, is it cold back there? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. cold back there. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. What happened Did to Rob? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, I know. How yeah, are Freddie you? and I are laughing. <laughs> so, Kevin, have you, ever, have you ever heard of Rob? Rob Barnett? I, I, I don't believe so. I probably have seen him somewhere. I've been everywhere, you know. Yeah, you have. Uh, I want you to meet Rob Barnett. You know James Clark? Sure, Rob. Pleasure to meet. Okay. Uh, James, uh, um, James owns uh, the paintball field, Wildcat Paintball Park. And where uh, is that, James? Yeah. Well, I'm uh, about 30 minutes from downtown St. Louis. I'm on exit 37 off Interstate 55. It's a little town called okay. Williamson. So I'm um, Pretty close to St. Louis area, about an hour okay. from Springfield. You know, you know when, you, when when we do the tournament at uh, Gateway Paintball, you're going to be over there, James. I'm going to try and swing over. I'm trying to get uh, to Tim's place. I never, I've never been. I, I, I normally I'm always working, 
So I finally went out to Payball to go this last year to their money. And obviously, uh, I guess you've seen, I'm going to be X and one for Bud. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, we had a, we had a, matter of fact, Bud's watching us right now. So, um, but Bud watches us every week. Uh, he is, uh, he, he's like Kevin, you know, he's like a brother to me. It's just uh, so proud to know these guys. But yeah, um, I want you to tell a little bit uh, real quick, Edgar, I'll get you in just a minute. But I, I, James, I want you to tell us about what you got coming up this weekend. Because sure. the elves and Santa Claus, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Yes. So about six, this will be our sixth year. So five, about five years ago, I thought it'd be pretty funny to see a bunch of guys dressed like Santa Claus shooting at elves. So I threw it out there for a... Uh, first year and it kind of went over so we, we could do this kind of i mean we stay open all year but it's more of a uh but thank you to our guys uh it's a, we do it for dirt cheap 15 dollars entry you can bring your own paint or buy paint from us we wow. do door prizes costume contest uh toy drive if you bring a toy in we'll give you a free field fee for the next year uh but we do this every year we have you know santa's and elves he's not paying the elves enough so they, they've hit all the Christmas presents out on the field. So Santa's got to try and get the presents back before the elves do. And last year, the elves won. The first four years, Santa's won. So last year, they ruined Christmas. So this year, wow. we're hoping we're pulling for Santa. <clears throat> you know, I got to tell you, right above you, you have a great Santa. And off to your left, <laughs> up above, you would have a great elf. <laughs> oh, sorry, Freddie. Oh, it had, Freddy. had, had nothing to do with your height. I much rather be the Santa man. He's all padded. He's got a nice beard for a neck protector. I much rather be him. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I figure I'd get that in quick before the hair joke starts. Well, you know, if you ever need a father to find Fred Schultz, you know. I'm with you there. <laughs> well, you know. James James just became my favorite guy now. <laughs> I got less hair than everybody. Well, me and Robert well, about the same. Yeah. So, oh yeah Robert, I'll give you a run for your money, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm have to get my sunglasses on. That glare. <laughs> I turn the light off. I get too much glare. Oh, my yeah. Edgar's over here going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, Edgar, I can say I can say this. Oh, you get used to it, but I'm lying to you, buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, when, when Freddie was out here, um, you know, Freddie and I did the show together and we started actually the three of us with Keith Kissel, him and I. And I gotta tell you, we had we had a great, great time. And you know, Freddie's being nice to me right now, but man, when the camera's off, ooh, man, he just up, down, he rips me, he teases me about everything. I go home just about crying. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Look like a nice guy on screen. No, you know, no, no. Like don't don't yeah, listen to him. I tease little... him just as much on camera as off, okay? No, no, you, you little face, no way. <laughs> oh, my God. I absolutely love it. But, you know, James, when we come back there, I definitely want to come and check your field out. Um, uh, we were back there a couple of weeks ago and we played at Tori's field, uh, Tori Verguglio. Yeah. How are you doing that, Bill? Yeah. 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 And uh, we had a great time. You know, um, Tori's father, Sal and I uh, go way, way back. Um, and Tori is, uh, he's kind of taken over pretty good right now. So Yeah, I, I was friends with Sal too. So I know, I'm, you know, but I actually, I was here when they opened up their field and when they first opened, we sent them a lot of business in the in the winter time because we weren't running compressed air at the time so <clears throat> we were we would send them over to them so great guys over there yeah they are yeah you you run everything now right oh yeah, yeah. except yeah. for laser tag i'm trying to get into that hopefully pretty soon but really yeah I'm, <laughs> i've been talking to some guys you know but it's pretty expensive to get into so but i'd yeah. love to i'd love to add it to the yeah, I like the gel ball. I think the gel ball thing was, uh, you know, Tank, Tank is the first one to send me one. And uh, I got to tell you, when he sent me the balls, here, what am I at here? Let me see. There is like a gazillion balls in here. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, unbelievable. I, I took and uh, I, I put them in water just like, <laughs> and matter of fact, I still got some. Let it be known, Fred Schultz likes balls. 
<laughs> See what I told you guys, huh? Huh? See, it's starting to come out now too. Yeah, I knew I knew you'd come out of your shell just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ryan Courtney said, "God bless Sal." Yeah, we do too because he was a good guy. But you know, Tori. You know, when I first met Tori, Tori was only like five years old, and uh, I got to tell you, he has turned into a, a great guy, just exactly like his dad. It was uh, it was pretty cool. So I, I just, I just, uh, I felt real bad when I heard that he had passed away. But you know, you guys got between Gateway Paintball and Tories and your field. You guys got not only some great fields back there in St. Louis, but you know, the guys that seem to run them are all pretty cool too. Yeah, I, I, I've been dealing with a bunch of them for years, and you know, I, I got nothing bad to say. Actually, I got another big game coming up in March. Uh, we'll talk about it another time, but it's our risk big game. But we're going to be doing six teams, and I'm going to actually have each team represented by a different field. Bill's going to have one of one of the teams there, paintball to go, extreme. Try to talk to Tim, see if he'll do one, and then the guys at Wacky, so we can have, you know, basically six different teams at once. I usually like to run big games. I, I make it really hard on myself. Yeah, we used to, you know, that's we did big games at uh, Tim's other field back in the day. And we used to pack them and had just an absolutely terrific time. I, I just absolutely love big games. So, you know, uh, Robert, you've been sitting there so nice and patient. There, you know, you and Edgar, <laughs> I got to tell you, you know, uh, I don't I'm know, just Kevin, enjoying you, the, I'm just enjoying everything I'm hearing. Well, you Freddie's know, got me dying over there. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, Fre Freddie, Freddie is not as nice as he looks. I'm telling you. Hey, yeah, I'm the yeah. go ahead. guy I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Just ask. <laughs> yeah, we we have we have no doubt. But you know, um, Robert, uh, have you got to play any tournaments with any teams, or you just uh, go out there and bang away by yourself with everybody? Um, like I said, this crazy addiction that started. I think I've had actual teams that I started that stayed together for a while and went away. Started a team called Toxic, Natural Disaster. Um, God, that sounds like Freddie's life story. And then went from that uh, Hidden so, Rage. Um, so you've had a few teams then, huh? Armed Force, and Armed Force is actually owned by Rob Lennon, who has a paintball park in Enterprise, Alabama. And that's eventually, when I leave from California, I'll be going over there helping him with the field over there. Oh, very um, cool. My daughter actually lives in Alabama. She, oh, uh, really? Moved, yeah, she works for the University of Alabama Medical Center. Oh, cool deal. Oh, she absolutely, yeah, she absolutely loves it. Yeah. So, yeah, she likes um, the people. And every time I go there, I have a great time, too. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so he's only had a field up and running for a couple of years, but it's slowly but surely growing, and kids are coming out. And he's, he has his own teams that that I, I play on his team, so we're a sponsored team. And, um, you know, even though I'm 58, I'll still be playing until these old bad knees just say, we can't do it no more. So, but until then, <laughs> you know, so – you know, if you if I can just stand behind the bunker and, and call out and shoot, I'll keep you in your bunker for a while. So I'm okay with that, you know. There you um, go. You know, um That's why I like another... playing that's why I like playing paintball with Bill. I use him as a moving bunker. I, <laughs> I, I'm right behind him. I go, go get get him, Bill. I'm right behind you, buddy. Yeah, oh, and the Watch other team I forgot too. I played for was Fusion which was owned by a guy by the name of Fetty. And they played a lot of the uh, WCPPL. So, oh, did they? Uh, Very cool. You know, right, Edgar, but, real quick, I, I want yes. you to tell us a little bit about uh, the organization. We're going to have uh, Edgar and the organization on next week. Um, cool. But I, I understand that you know Kevin – so obviously you get around because Kevin gets around. Um, so tell us a little bit about your organization. All right. So uh, Filipino Paintball Worldwide, um, it's about bridging the gap with Filipino players that wants to play a tournament scene or, you know, just to get out there and just practice. So, uh, and we're trying to do it under one banner. 
tops of one jersey. Basically, it's like, I think veteran militia does that already. And the destiny does that already also. Oh, very cool. You know, I want to, I want to bring on somebody right now. Uh, it's, uh, she's putting together a girls team and she, uh, she wants to play the WCPL and she had some girls on her team that, that kind of jumped and, uh, went to another team. Um, and Freddie, you know, her. Kevin, Kevin just jumped off. Kevin knows her very well. Please everybody welcome Kathy Alvarez. Hey, Hi guys. Kathy? Hey, Kathy. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, Freddie, that's how warm it is in California right now. I, I can see that. <laughs> no, nah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be 80 this weekend, so we're we're okay, yes. So thank <laughs> God. <laughs> so Kathy, um, you know, I know that uh, you're working real hard to put the Belkries as name your team, correct? That is correct. I started once we came back from the World Cup. I came up with an idea. It's been an, a dream since '88. And I finally jumped the cliff and said, it's time. So cool. after the Woods Ball World Cup, I seen one female playing play, player. It was Anna Owens. I think, I think it was her name. I think it was her name. And I was like, it's time. It's time for females to play Woods Ball. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. just uh, all together. So, you know, there's a lot of female players that are out here. Um, I understand you're putting a team together, but they kind of jump to another team right now. But, you know, I, I'm trying to help Kathy. I want to put the word out right now. So any female players that are out here in California that'd like to get together and play a tournament with her in February, I, you know, and not just her, Jennifer Montressor is going to be coming out here. Um, and, uh, you know, that's Tim's mother, Tim Montressor's mother. And it's going to be cool. You'd be playing with some some absolutely not only terrific people, but some legends also. So, you know, all you girls out there, I know there's a ton of you out here playing right now. Who who should they get a hold of, Kathy? Uh, they could get a hold of me or go on to um, the Valkyrie's Facebook page. They can message me that way also. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah, because Richard Wilcox, uh, you know, Lori, his wife, uh, is going to be playing with you out in New York also because she's going. Oh my out God, to New is York he still too. alive? Richard? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. God. Hey, you know what? I, I tell you, what sucks is he's younger Jesus. than I. Jesus. Yeah, he's younger <laughs> than I am. Here we got Kevin back. You, you remember this guy, don't you, Kathy? Holy shit! Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my How God. are you, hon? Pretty good. How about you? All right, all right. Can't can't complain. I hear that. And anybody that doesn't know Kathy, uh, she's her brother played for the Blasters years ago, and uh, she is a just a super super diehard Blaster fan. And you know, and Kevin, he's uh, the tip of the family of the Blasters. Yeah, family. There you go. That's he's the worst. family. If it wasn't for the Blasters, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Everything I learned is from the Blasters. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And you know, when we were at the World Cup this last year, it was an absolute riot. You know, I, I wish everybody on the screen could go to the World Cup. Uh, when is it? In June? June. Yeah, and it's the New York mm -hmm. Classic now. It's no longer Woods Ball World Cup. So yeah, I call it what I want. I love it. Yeah, um, call yeah, it whatever you. But you call it World Cup, and everybody thinks Florida. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah we did start that. Who had the so first the World hell? Cup? Who had the first World Cup? I remember Who played it years or ago. I, I was at a World June, Cup June 1st ago. through 3rd, 1990, if you want to be exact. That's right, baby. And I was there. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> you, know, you know, Will Cox, that was that was uncalled for F. Freddie Valenti. I think that was pretty uncalled for. It's oh. true, but still, that's uncalled for. Yo, well, see, he's what up, Ricky? It, it, and, and you wonder why you have no friends, Freddie. That's why. <laughs> I have lots of friends. They all hate me. Yeah, I, I know that. Yep. I, I, That's I, not true, Fred. Nah, we love him. He knows that. He he just That's says that true. so everybody feels sorry for him. Yeah, now he'll get done and he'll go to his fiance. Did you hear how they treated don't, me? Don't tonight? give away my secrets. <laughs> I God. need a hug. I need a hug. Yeah, <laughs> we know you're sick. Come on. <sighs> you're giving away all my secrets. Give me the safe space. 
Oh, shit. So anyhow, we want to we want to try to help Kel- Kathy uh, get a team together out here. She has a few girls. Um, she's got a, a ton of them on the East Coast, but you know a lot of them can't fly. So we're trying to see if we can't get uh, people together, some some more ladies, to give her a hand because she uh, absolutely would be well, great. You know, to have a lady Kathy, where are you located at? I'm located in Sacramento, in California. Oh, okay. I I lived there for almost eight years I'll, I'll i'll reach out to some people and see what see if they're interested I Kathy, really appreciate that's, that's, that's very take cool a trip down to the jungle because there's lots of female players out there and that's woods ball so yeah you know. that's true too huh yeah, yeah. We're, well we're all going to work together we're going to try to give her a hand to see if we can't bring uh um some people together to to get because she'd be a heck of a captain and she's on the right path because you know we all work hard to get the kids into the sport, and we definitely love having the ladies in the sport. You know, this sport's for everybody, and that's what we all need to keep pushing. Is that yep. exactly? So, you know, James, you get a lot of you get a lot of ladies coming out to your your uh, field. Yeah, actually, we do. Um, we get a nice mix in between paintball and airsoft. Um, years ago, we used to have a team, all girls team, called Wildcat Kittens. Uh, so, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we, we, we like that. Um, most of my rough staffs are female, so oh, very and they cool. like to play well, when they're not working. Send a few out to California. <laughs> Actually, I just got, that one, one just moved to Florida, so oh. she's down in Freddie's area. I don't know where where at you're at, but she's at West Palm, I think. Yeah, I'm in West Palm. Oh well, yeah, I'll have her get a hold of you. She's a good ref. Well, very yeah. cute too. Yeah, I appreciate well, she, it. Um, she, with the Valkyries, it's three generations. I have scenario players, speedball players, rec players. Uh, my youngest is 15 years old. And yeah. uh, for California, I have Jim McTrusser, Lori Wilcox, Danielle, she's a rec player. Uh, Kayla, she just started uh, last year. And then there's the youngest one, Bella. So I would take any females that that's willing to go out there and play. Very cool. Okay. We're going to work hard to, to try to push that for you. Bill, you get a lot of female players because Bill also has a field. Bill has uh, Bailey's Battlefield. And uh, how long you had that field, Billy? Uh, we officially opened it in 1985. 1985. So it's been a while then, right? A little while. A little while, yeah. Because, you know, we were out at Tim's Field uh, last week, and he had all kinds of moms bringing the kids out. There was all kinds of ladies out there playing. It was uh, oh yeah, it was exactly mm-hmm. like I like to see paintball, huh, Bill? Mm-hmm. All the St. Louis Fields are like that, though. But, you know, they've all got – it's a total mix of all their players. It's oh, yeah. Fun. yeah. Well, you know, it's – but look at look at the people running them though. You know, you got Tim, you got Tori, you got James. You know, you get this kind of guys running the fields and and the operations. That's what draws people in, and that's what yeah. you know helps build paintball. Because you know, when people come in, they have a good time. They want to come back and tell their friends. They go there and they have a bad time. Take my word for it. They're going to tell their friends, but they won't be back. And oh, that's what we, get a lot we of, want. We get a lot of. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say we get a lot of. Uh, we do a two hour group rate to get a lot of people to try it out. It's $150, 10 players, rentals, and 2,000 paintballs. So, I mean, it's basically $15 a person. We get a lot of 10, 12, 14 year old birthday parties, boys and girls, a nice mix of it so that they're getting in there. And I find it especially that 10 to 14 year old girls are a lot more aggressive oh, than yeah. the boys and they have a lot better time. And, we see them playing more and more. So it's, it's kind of a neat thing to get them out there just a starter and get them into the sport that way. Absolutely right. You know, just like yep. Robert was saying, you know, he went out next thing he knew he was hooked just like all of us on the screen. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Yes. Long time I actually ago. Had a, I actually had a feel for, for a couple of years in Madeira. So I totally, I mean, I, I went hook, line and sinker into it. Um, it was cra- It was really Wow, it was it was bad. That, that, that's a good that's a good word too, you know. And, you know, Robert, I tell you, Robert, you know some of the guys that you're on here with tonight, you know, um, 
these guys all work pretty hard for the sport also. Uh, you know, Kevin yeah. goes back uh, 90, 30, what, 98, 99 years. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> And Bill and I go past that. So, well, I do. Bill's still a kid, actually. That's that's amazing. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of embarrassing to me, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. See, Freddie. See, did you see him hit you, hit me with the hair thing? See, subtlety. You guys kill me with subtleties, man. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Freddie, you're not eating anything tonight either. Everything okay? No, it's it's almost eleven o'clock over here. You know, so yeah, I've already eaten my dinner. Oh, that's right, that's right. You're a light eater. You Same don't here, Freddie. Yeah. yeah, I've already eaten my dinner. Okay, thank you very much. You know, Except I, here, it's it's almost eleven o'clock and twenty five degrees. Oh, oh, you just gave me a chill. Shit, <laughs> oh, winter is upon us. Yeah. Yeah. Fred, can't, the North. Fred can't go where there's ice cold because the rest of his hair will freeze and break off. So, oh, yeah. so in the warmer weathers. <laughs> hey, hey, Edgar, how's my buddy Nicky Banta doing? He's doing good, man. I mean, he's at New York, so I, he, he's he's right yeah. there. He's in Jersey. He's right down the down the highway from me. Uh, you know, I I had Nick on a little while ago in the green room. I talked to him. Oh, you didn't bring him on? No, because I, I had too many tonight, and I'm doing the um, he is. the Filipino paintball uh, worldwide organization next week. So. Oh, so you're gonna have Nikki on next week? Yeah, yes. and and you know, hey, if Edgar don't mind, I'll bring you up because they'd love to talk to you. Yes. Well, Nick and I, Nick and I see each other all the time. You know. Uh, that, then I'll, pro I'll probably drag him out here. Then it's yeah. okay with you, Edgar, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Nicky Banta, good man, been around a long time, you know, in the Jersey, New York area, paintball scene. Good guy. Yeah, had, good guy. yeah I had him in the green room. Yeah, I had him in the green room because uh, I sent Edgar the, the link, and next thing I know, I had 70 people jumping on. <laughs> <laughs> Figures uh, Banta would be there. The whole Filipino kind of, kind of, uh, jump on. Team Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I'm trying to bring in, you know, the, the organization, they're, they're a great bunch of guys. And uh, just like this weekend, I'm going down to the PBSL, the end game down there. And it's going to be, you know, Gumby's going to be down there. And I'm going to I'm going to go live with uh, uh, my buddy, Dave Justin, the Reaper. Uh, he oh, called me the a Reaper. While ago too. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. Hey, yeah, we're yeah, going to go okay. live. We're going to go character. live together down there. And then we're going to have Keith Kissel. I'm going to have Keith. Wandering around doing a uh, uh, remote, uh, you know, he, he's oh, just going to travel and talk. That's going to be something yeah. to see. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be playing. I'll be playing at a seven man at Cousins Paintball in Manchester, Jersey this weekend. Seven man <laughs> classic mech. Hey, you know, isn't, I, isn't there something else going on in one of the Carolinas this weekend? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Paintball Central. Mm -hmm. uh, Tyler Humphreys Field. They've got the CFOA 10-man classic this weekend. I'd love to be at that event. It's a fantastic event. 21 teams is he limited it at, and it sold out in half an hour. I didn't even get in. So <laughs> I, I hear I hear it's a I hear it's a great field, though. It's a great field. He, you know, he's an he's an old old school pro guy. He knows what's up. Does a fantastic job running that tournament down there. And I'm sorry I didn't get in. And, well, you, know, uh, you know, Kevin, we probably need to bring him on a show sometime and talk to him. Sure, if he want, if he want to come on, I think we should have him on. He's a, you know, he's doing a great hell of a job down there in Greensboro, North Carolina. So, oh, you know, if you get an cool. opportunity, you got to watch. You got to get on his Facebook page because that event just sells out in in minutes, minutes. Wow! Wow! It's uh, you know. And, you know, that's why, you know, Kevin is also part of the WCPL that we've got going here. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of people that you're looking for is, is people that can run a great, great tournament and give the player a, a good shot and a fair shot. You know, that's what it's all about. It's To me, it's all about the players, period, you know. Yeah. It's got to be about that. the players, Freddie. Yeah. It's got to be about the players. Come on. You're absolutely right. And that's what can't that's be about the damn money. <laughs> there well, isn't any. <laughs> Not with the WCPL, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know. I you know it was about uh, food. What's that? 
I thought it was about food. Yeah. I, <laughs> no, you know what it's about, man? It's about having a good time with your friends and exactly. playing some table. That's what it's about. Yep. Yeah. And that's exactly well, what we're going to do, too. Food. Yeah, but that, you know, that that's what it's all about, though, is that, you know, that's why you guys are on here. You know, you're not, you're on here. You know, James is on here talking about what he's got coming up this weekend. Now, what does that do this weekend? It helps paintball, especially right. the, the elves and Santa. That's, that's a kick in the pants. I got to say that, that's, that I think is funny as hell. <laughs> and Freddie, you'd still be a great elf. I'm telling you. James did yeah, it's funny, me. James, that you're, you're running a, a risk game. We ran a couple of those up in New York a few years back. <laughs> what a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. What a lot of fun. We started hey, James, our first one in 98, our first risk game, and we played for about three years. And I just started back two years ago. So I'm like, I should have been doing it the whole time. But yeah, we James, did our first James, one. You ever, James, you ever hear of a guy called Tim Schloss? Yeah. Oh, Timmy yeah. on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. I'm talking to you. <laughs> hey, James, good luck on his thing this weekend. That's uh, We got a lot of guys coming up, and I think he's going to have a great event. You just told him. Yeah. Yeah, I hear him. Yeah, we get a bunch of his guys come up and play it. This weekend. So I'm not going to be able to come up. I really wanted to come up and play his field. Just uh, I hope everything goes good for him. They got a great reputation here in town, and uh, everybody loves him. So yeah, he does good. Yeah, we talked about your field a little bit, too. Uh, Bill, Bill's got up and help me on it tomorrow. Yeah, you said you needed it, so yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, you know, what you guys are talking about with this WCPL, I'm telling you, what, our phone has exploded, and everybody is saying the same thing Kevin and you and Bill have been saying. Everybody just looking for a good time. Well, that's what we're going to give them. You know, that's the whole point in putting the WCPL together was to, you know, and, and not knocking any other organization. I, I would never no, do that. No, no, yeah, no. I, I just is, you know, this is something that we wanted to do. we got a lot of old school guys, uh, you, exactly. me, Kevin, uh, Jerry, Bud Orr. You know, we just want to give the, the players a good shot and a good time. And and like it used to be, Tim, remember how it used to be? Oh, yeah. It was great times, great times. Did uh, Bill tell you what our numbers are? Ah uh, no, Bill doesn't talk to me. Not yet. Yeah, we're, we've uh, we've almost sold this thing out. There you go. Yeah, everybody. I mean, it's just it's a it's the response has been unbelievable. Kevin Kevin said you should top it at a hundred teams. I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I got the numbers wrong. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to accommodate. Fun on the thing too. Oh, you will believe me. You, yeah. you, you know, you know the fun you're going to have. You, the fun you're going to have is watching these people play one very cool field and having a good time. That's the fun you're going to have. Yeah. Just like yeah. the fun we had a couple weekends ago in St. Louis. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, that was a good time. A lot of great time. Freddie, you better. Like, you got to tell Tim to make sure he has my spot reserved. We, we do. Hey, Kevin. We, Kevin said I gotta. You have to make do. sure that you got his spot reserved. I haven't got any money from him yet. So that's a no, then, huh? No. <laughs> 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 You're on the list, buddy. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm frozen up here, guys. I just wanted to just call yeah. and say hi and give you some feedback on what's going on. Well, Tim, I appreciate it. You know, I, I love talking to you, buddy. You know better than that. So. Yeah, hold tell tight. Go tell ahead, Bill. Tell Tim you got to call him after the show. What's that? Tell Tim I got to call him after the show for about two minutes. Bill said he's going to call you after the show for about two minutes. <coughs> I'm going to bed. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell him I'll, I'll keep the phone on. Uh, right on, brother. Hey, tell Terry I says hi. I'll do it, Freddie. Thanks, guys. All right, love you, brother. Bye. Bye, bye. Everybody, that was uh, Mr. Tim Schloss. He owned uh, Tiger Stripe Camo back in the day, and he has Gateway Paintball now. Actually, right there by James, um, about a half hour away. Hey, Is that right, James? Yeah. Yeah, half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah Tim, Tim, Tim always told us, oh, man, we're like 10 minutes from the airport. Well, you know, I drove it, and it was like six minutes from the airport. So, you know, um, 
he, his field is very, very cool. And James, you know, we want to help you promote your field now too. Uh, you know, uh, you sound like you're pretty good for paintball and that's what we're all about. And that's what we want to do. Oh yeah. My pleasure. Absolutely. Is. He's, he's so real quick, we're going to start clicking off now because I've done my hour here. So Kathy, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody and please everybody remember let's give Kathy a hand and get some players so she can play this tournament this February out here. Cause she is a hell of a player and let's get more women into paintball. So go ahead, Kathy. I really appreciate it, Fred, for everything you have done. Um, yeah, just message me on Facebook or go to the Valkyries Facebook page, uh, Valkyries Paintball Team Facebook page. You can message me that way. And again, let's get more females out there and just have fun. It's it's amazing. It, WCPL is going to be amazing. It Kathy, is your son still playing? Huh? Is your son still playing? No. Oh, your son's not playing? I'm taking his place. It's mama's turn. There you go. It's there you go. There you I go. always yeah. sat on yeah. the sidelines <laughs> or repping. It's mama's turn. I'm there going. you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, Kathy, thanks a lot for jumping on tonight. And uh, we'll all work hard to see if we can get you some terrific players. It sounds amazing. Um, be safe out there, Fred. Um, oh. Nice to see you again, little Fred. Um, let me safe, get my sweetie. butt back to work. I'm working 16 hours. So. Oh, wow. All Ooh. right. Well, you stay right. safe. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, babe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. It was Kathy Alvarez. Remember, everybody. Um, here, we got Kevin back again now. Now, remember, everybody, um, give Kathy a hand. You know, if, if you're out there, you're a, a female player, because there's a lot of you out here. I know there is. You want to hook up with a great person and, and put together a great team and have one hell of a lot of fun. Get a hold of Kathy Alvarez, please. And, and you will absolutely love it. I guarantee it. So, I guess, Rob... I appreciate so much you coming on. I want to have you back. Hang on, Freddie. Freddie, let me go. Let me let me get out of here because I'm I'm having internet trouble. So uh oh, yeah, I seen you go. Let me let house. me quick say goodbye, guys. Nice meeting you guys. You know, for the first mm -hmm. time, Freddie. Great to see you, Billy. I'll talk to you. Yep, yep. Big Fred, Big Fred, love you, man. Right back at you, brother. Tell me, I right. said hi. All right. I definitely will do the same with Sherrod. I will, and give the bear a hug. Right, yes, buddy. I'll definitely do that too. Take care, guys. All right, bye bye. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> hey, if, if everybody doesn't know what we're talking about, Kevin has a big bear, a real bear skin with the head and everything. Well, one night he brought it on the show and he had it sitting on his shoulder. So then the next day, um, we had a, a friend of mine up in Canada, Steve McGuire. He texts me and he goes, God, that must have really been a trained bear. And Bill texts me and Bill goes, yeah, that bear had to be trained because he didn't do anything to, to Kevin. <laughs> and I, I didn't even know what to say. I'm like, my God, guys, it wasn't a real bear. <laughs> but anyhow. That, it was not real. <laughs> yeah, I, it looked out for real to you. I know you and Steve. Steve was putting it out on the Internet. Did you see that bear Kevin had? Where does he keep them? Well, he keeps them on the floor, Steve. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, Rob. Hey, Rob, I want to have you on the show again. Um, you were really great. I appreciate so much you coming on tonight. And, and Alrighty. Us, you know, I, I, your I like that. You, you come back on again? What's that? Can I get you to come back on again? Oh, sure. Definitely. Absolutely. I want you to stay yes. in touch with me, okay, Rob? Yeah, sure. I, I'm going to let we'll you say to. goodbye to everybody because you, you did great tonight. Okay. Though. You really did. Go ahead and say goodbye All to everybody. Righty. Hey, guys, thanks for uh, having me on here. I enjoyed uh, meeting everybody and uh, uh, be looking for a firm request on Facebook from me from all the guys that were on, and ladies that were on here tonight. Uh, yeah, I think I think you're going to get a lot of friends because you seem very impressionable. <laughs> So you stay in touch Alrighty. with me, all right? I definitely will. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. Bye now. See you, Rob. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Robert Burnett. Uh, he was great on here tonight. I, I absolutely, I, I'm so glad that we put him on. And I'm looking forward to having him back on again. That's for sure. So, Edgar, 
Yes, You're sir. next because you got the whole hour next week, baby. We're going to be looking at you for the whole hour and <laughs> and just talking paintball with your buddies. All right. Anyway, hey, thanks, everyone. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, please support Fred Schultz's show, man. It grows oh, I the appreciate sport. That. I appreciate yeah. that very much. And, and Edgar, I'm looking forward to having you and, and the other guys from the Filipino Paintball Worldwide Organization on next week. I think it's going to be a hell of a show. And I'm asking everybody, please tune in and, and listen to these guys. And let's all work together to build paintball. All right, Edgar. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys. You have a good evening, buddy. Take care, All right, Edgar. Edgar that, was, you know, that was just great having him on. And I am really looking forward to having him on next week. Uh, that's going to be cool because, you know, it's just another facet of paintball. The girls, you know, just everything. I, I just absolutely love it. You're next, James. Um, yeah. You know, James, I appreciate very much you taking the time to come on tonight. Uh, one more time, I want you to tell everybody about your field how they can get in contact with you and where you're at and the game you got coming up this weekend. Awesome. I appreciate you having me on. Um, it's um, Wildcat Paintball Park. We're on Facebook. We have an Instagram page and it's wildcatpaintball.com. Um, we're doing, like I said, our Santas and Elves this, this Saturday. We always do the first Saturday in December. It's 10 to 4. It's a pretty neat event. You'll see me out there dressed as the Grinch. Uh, <laughs> I, I, wear, I wear the Grinch outfit. We got a couple guys One's come out. One guy, yeah. We got one guy that wears a penguin outfit. So there's all kinds of neat costumes that people wear out too. So it's pretty fun to watch. Uh, but now check us out. We play night and day. We have lights on our field, so we can play at nighttime too. That's so, cool. so Very cool. we, we're, we're out many, there all the time. How many actual fields do you have now? What well, least, wasn't it? I just opened up three more. I got 20 acres that I hadn't touched yet. So now I think I'm at a. 12 and Ooh. by the time i get done i should have about 25 different fields wow so, <laughs> but it's just me building them so it's a slow yeah. process but i knocked out three in the last year so yeah, no, yeah last year, you build them like you like them that way yeah yeah i get to do some pretty cool stuff i got a bunch of car hoods donated to me a while back and everybody's like what are you going to do with those i'm like i got an idea so i just built a new field and called it the hood so it's all made out of car hoods. So we got a dad joke field. So, so. I love it. That's good. I love That's it. They're all good. graffitied it. up. It's I really cool it. looking. So, so. Well, you know, James, I, you know, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have you back on. Uh, obviously, next week, I'm a little jammed. But in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have you back on. And I want you to tell us how that went. <clears throat> oh, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it. Yep. Sound good. James, thank you, you guys, so much for joining it. us tonight. Care, thank James. you, Bill. I'll see you, see you Saturday, hopefully. Thanks, guys. Yeah, hopefully. See you. Uh, most likely not. It's this Saturday is gonna kill me. Uh, Come on, Santa! All the, all the referees are. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> all right, James. Yeah. You take all it right, easy, buddy. Guys. We'll see you. Yeah. All right, everybody. That was Mr. James Clark. Uh, he, he's a pretty cool guy, huh, Billy? Yeah, he's yeah, always I'm been very, cool. very he's, glad he's got... that that I had him on a Wildcat Paintball there in St. Louis. You guys get a chance. You know, you know, I love Gateway Paintball. Uh, you know. Tim's Tim's like my brother, but you know, uh, James seems like uh, he's got it going on pretty damn good. So you know, uh, there's three fields. You got Tory's field, and you got, got James' a, field. What's there's that? A wall, there's a wall in his shop, and it's got a whole bunch of old school pictures going way back. And when you go in there, you know, you, if you're from the area, you see all these guys playing. It's like I remember him. I remember them. I remember. <laughs> it's really that neat is, looking at all the old pictures. That is so cool, yeah. Freddie. I didn't even know what to say to you, man. I was it was so happy to see you again. Same it's here, brother. Just, uh, yeah, you got to come back on. You know, you know, maybe for the Christmas show. Because remember our Christmas show we did? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. So, yeah. Uh, so you know, uh, if you would, can I drag you back out for the Christmas show? Of course. Yeah, your lady will let you. No problem, huh? <laughs> well, you know, it's past my bedtime. I'm getting. I am getting up there. Not quite as far up there as you. Or, or, or Bill, but you know, I'm just a little, little, little bit up there. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, if but you, you know what? Hey, think you're about gonna it. Have Kika walk, you're gonna have Kika walking around with with uh, interviewing people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you put a camera in Kiko's hand, and it's a show on its own. Yeah, I know it. Because you never know what's gonna happen. You're right there too. <laughs> I miss those. I miss those days, man. I really do. I really do miss those days. 
Well, you know, we had it going on. And, and you know, I love sitting alongside you doing the show, too, because uh, your facial expressions, uh, you didn't even have to say anything, which was actually good for you because you sounded the best when you were quiet. But your facial expressions were just terrific. <laughs> People were going nuts over them. <laughs> so, all right, Freddie. Well, I'm looking forward to having you on the Christmas show with me then. All right? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. I am so happy for you. Uh, I'm so happy you got a great woman, and you look like uh, you look like you're happy again. I like that. I am happy. I am happy. I'm That's with my family. I'm with my family. Christine is my family. We, you know, she is has she a right dog. There? Huh? Is she right there? No, she's she's asleep. Oh, is she? Okay. Yeah, she went to bed. She gets up earlier. She's she's a runner, so she gets up early, and she goes running. You know, nine, ten miles. Me, Shit. I go about ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm done. Me, I go to the end of the driveway. So yeah, that's where my mailbox is. <laughs> All right, buddy. You have a good evening. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks for having All me right, out, Bye bye. Hey, Freddie. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was Mr. Freddie Valente, aka Freddie the Ref, aka one hell of a good friend of mine. Period. And I love it. Pretty good show, Bill. Yep. 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 I like I like having everybody we had on tonight. You know what? There was uh it's a little crowded, but just an absolutely great, great show. Yeah. And uh, Jennifer Montressor, I love Jennifer. What a good woman. Really, yeah. really is. Yeah. You know, she's she's going to be an icon, too. Uh, we're going to make sure of that, just like her son was. She's going to be a, a huge celebrity. Yeah. So. Do you notice uh, on Edgar's wall, he's got one of Tim's jerseys hanging in the glass? Oh, did he? Yeah. Yep. Wow, very cool. Yep. All right, Billy. Well, I, you know, it's dinner time for me. Yeah, so, I ate about two hours ago. Did you? <laughs> Man, I, I got to tell you, when I come back to St. Louis, you have got you have got to go to that Italian restaurant with yeah. me. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah. like Italian food, but baby, it was absolutely fabulous. Oh, my yeah. God. In fact, I think I'm still getting over it, you know. When I was sitting there eating, I couldn't figure out why my legs went to sleep. It was my belly was sitting on them. <laughs> you know, like, what the hell is this all about, man? <laughs> so, all right, Billy. We have a good evening. Tell Susan I said hi. Yep, will do. I'll tell her in the morning because she's already asleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you stay safe, buddy. <laughs> will do. We'll see you guys. All right. Yeah. All, right. all right, everybody. That was Mr. William Bailey, my co-host on the show. Um, a great, great show tonight. You know, I want to thank all my guests tonight. They were all nothing short of terrific. And and remember, um, James Clark, he has Wildcat Paintball. He has that big event, uh, Santa Claus versus the Elves. If you're in the St. Louis area this weekend, man, get out and check that out. You, <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a great time. And I think I think everybody would absolutely love it. And if nothing else, you, you know, if you're not going to play, go out and support the people that are playing and, and show James that you're you're thinking about not only him, but thinking about going out to play paintball eventually, too. Because that's what it's all about for all of us is build the sport of paintball. So remember, next week, next week, Tuesday, 7 o'clock Pacific time, we are going to have the Filipino Paintball Worldwide Organization on. We're going to have... Four of the great people. You're just going to love to listen to these guys. They are so cool. And I cannot wait to do it. So, all right, everybody. Till next week, Tuesday, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Productions. Please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play paintball. All right. Good evening, everybody. <laughs>